You want to learn how to make a cool bonfire with some OSL effect and removable tea lights? Stick around. That's what we're doing this week on Tabletop Witchcraft. Hey there, it's John with Tabletop Witchcraft, and I want to talk to you about a little incident that just happened in a recent gaming session of mine. But to do that, I need to step back in time just a little bit. You see, I was looking for a bonfire build, and I came across Jeremy over at Black Magic Craft, his little bonfires right here. And I gotta tell you, these things are awesome, and it completely wowed everybody on the table when I put this on. The lights were dim, it was flickering, it looked totally awesome. As a result, these got a lot of use, and then they stopped working. So with this design, it's some PVA glue soaked in some paper towel or tissue, and it's wrapped around the tea light. And when the tea light goes out, the light stops working. Um, you know, it just becomes kind of like a smoldering pile. So I figured I'm gonna just kind of maybe improve on it just a little bit and find a way to take the tea light so it pops right out and then pops right back in and doesn't come out. So now it's replaceable and you get a little bit more life out of the piece. So I thought that was a kind of cool little improvement. I also did a little bit of OSL on the, the light itself, on the bonfire. So you want to see how that's done? Stick around. Let's get crafting. All right, so we're going to start off with a tea light here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is take about a foot and a half to two feet of um, aluminum foil, fold it into about a one inch strip. And what you're going to want to do is wrap it around that tea light and be pretty tight about it without tearing it and get a nice vertical um, wrap around the first um, wrap there around the tea light. Then you can start folding it over on itself. You'll see here that I'm trying to increase the uh, diameter at the base of the tea light to form what would be like a, an ash pile forming. And just wrap this as much as you want until you get the angle you like for the size of the fire that you're going for. And then I like to use a little hot glue to hold each layer together. All right, then once you're done and you got the uh, size of the fire that you like, take one more layer and wrap it around the top of the tea light, leaving just enough room for the uh, fire to be sticking out the top. Make sure you got a nice, uh, it's, make sure it's really close. You don't wanna have gaps there. Cause then you'll end up seeing the tea light once you're done with the build. And again, a little bit of hot glue, you're ready to go. Now, uh, we take some more hot glue here and what you're going to do is literally coat the entire piece in hot glue. Um, this is a, a smaller glue gun and I go through about two glue sticks um, per fire. Coat the whole thing. You want to do it on parchment paper because as you can see it peels right off. And then once that cools you're going to take more hot glue and put a little uh, strip around the bottom of the aluminum foil so that it uh, kind of melts into the rest of the base. So it'll be a nice solid piece of uh, glue, basically, for the fire. You don't want to go too crazy here because you don't want the glue to smear into the uh, tea light. And again, it peels off nice and easy. And now you get a nice rubbery base in the bottom of the fire. And here I'm just using the hot glue gun just to melt off the uh, really thin pieces of uh, hot glue. You can use a knife to take those off too. And if you do get a little bit of glue that covers the uh, tea light, because again, we want to be able to take the tea light out of this, just take a little uh, X-Acto and cut that out. And as you can see, it pops right out and it pops into place and doesn't slip out. Next, we'll take a little regular PVA glue and coat the entire piece in glue. And then uh, just like you're dipping an ice cream cone in sprinkles, you're gonna go ahead and 
roll the uh, the fire here in some uh, sand and then any spots that you miss you know no big deal just tap a little more glue on add some sand and now let that dry for 24 hours before you do this step now you're gonna spray it here with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol it helps the uh, glue wash um, to get into all the uh, crevices and this is basically just like a 50-50 mix of PVA glue and water. And spread it over the whole thing and it's gonna lock in all that sand. And you're gonna wanna let this uh, cure for about 24 hours as well. Now I'm taking a few rocks here I got at a craft store. And we're just gonna glue them wherever you want, uh, typically around the base of the uh, pile where like chunks of uh, wood would have rolled down to the bottom to add a little bit of texture to the uh, bonfire. And here, once you get the piece on, just dab a little sand on there so you don't have a smooth piece of glue showing because that will show when you dry brush. And now I'm just taking some sticks from the yard and uh, just gonna hot glue those in place. And again, once you get the stick in place, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put sand on both sides. You can see a little bit of glue sticking out there. Um, pop a little sand on there right now and you don't have to worry about going back after the fact. And it'll look just like the uh, an ash pile. You won't see that smooth piece of glue there sticking off the bottom. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and Mod Podge the whole piece. Mod Podge a little bit of water and black paint. And this is like the, the third set of glue that's holding all the sand in, in place. So once you're done here, none of that's gonna come off. It's gonna be real nice. And then uh, I like to just Mod Podge the bottom of this as well. Kinda completes the, the whole piece when you're done. That way you don't see all the uh, aluminum foil. Next, we're taking a little uh, deco art, graphite gray, and um, we're gonna go ahead, and all the painting for this is really blotchy, padded on, heavy in areas, light in others. Um, you wanna think, it's very random, it's an ash pile. Um, nothing has to be perfect here. I'm gonna take a little bit of lighter gray, some apple barrel, uh, pewter gray, and dab that around the whole piece as well. Getting it on the sticks is fine. Again, it'll be look like ash. And then I took a little uh, burnt umber here, and again, dabbing it on the wood because any places you miss are gonna look like it's uh, charred wood. It really is a nice effect. Now we're gonna create a uh, illusion of uh, flame here. So what you're gonna wanna do is get um, some white paint where it's gonna be brightest, typically by you know the log at the base here. And put a decent amount of white and then feather that up away from the uh, base of the heat source. You'll see I'm going back with a little bit more white here to really bring that up and, and brighten that area. Next I take a little bit of uh, a yellow wash and, and just go over all of that and I'm using an orange actually now I'm using a little bit of yellow paint then I'll go into the orange and these are all Vallejo inks and paint and then finally with a, uh, a black red so when you're working with fire you always want to go from light to dark See how that gives the illusion of some flame down there.
And this is just some uh, pillow stuffing, polyester, spraying it with a little bit of black spray paint. You don't want to go too crazy. Just give it a little bit on all the sides because the spots that you miss on the inside will just give a lighter effect to the smoke that's coming off the uh, fire itself. And then give it a quick dry fit and then some hot glue. Go around the, uh, the top of this thing. Again, staying away from the hole where the light is going to come through. And once you press it on there, that's what it looks like. And the polyester sticks really good to the hot glue, so you don't have to worry about that ever coming off. You can see how that snaps in real nice. All right, there you have it. Bonfire build with replaceable tea lights. You can check the description below for a link to the tea lights that I use and some other items that I use during the build. You can go ahead and buy a whole bunch of those tea lights as long as it's not just the battery. And when they go bad, toss them, slap a new one in, and you're ready to go. With that, make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And until next time, see you around.